Hello, hello everybody. Quarantines are here. It's Daniel at Gotham Gymnastics HQ. How are you doing? We're bringing another day of workout and great information for you. How are you? Good, good. Nice. Okay, as people come to join the live over here, I want you to put the thumbs up there if you had improved your press handstand during this time. Who have improved their press handstand? Were you able to do press instance during this time if you weren't before? And how many have you done? What's the max of press instance you have done so far? I mean, press instance are a big part of gymnastics. It's an amazing skill to have. It's a great skill to have and every gymnast should have, okay? So I miss you too, Hazel. Thank you, thank you. Nice. So there's a lot of people coming in. All right, guys, today we have Chris coming on live soon. Uh, Chris is uh, from the Rev Show, right, from Las Vegas. He became a friend of Quarantine here, uh, doing great workouts for you. Today is no different. He's going to come 7K back. Good job. So um, Chris is coming for a great workout. After this, we have Betsy talking about nutrition. Nutrition was something that we haven't spoken here yet, and she's bringing her amazing knowledge for us. Okay, so stay tuned over there. Now we're gonna go on with Chris. Chris, send me a message as soon as you're ready. I put you in here so we can go on with our workout of the day. After this, we have Betsy talking about nutrition, guys. Very, very good. How have you been, everybody? Huh? I know it's not being easy, right? And uh, the uncertainty, where are we gonna do and when we're gonna do things or are there, but try to keep it positive and we're gonna keep moving, guys. Nice. So Chris is coming. Hey, Chris, how are you doing? What's going on, Gotham Gymnastics? Hey, good, day. good, how are you doing? I'm doing good, it is, I'm sweating already. It is super hot here, the uh, last really? couple days. So oh, definitely different than the East Coast. <laughs> That's great. The yesterday here was really good, but today is a little nasty. So. <laughs> oh really? I got. A, I got a bit to be indoor doing exercise. <laughs> I got a video from my friend in Toronto a couple of days ago. It was snowing in the morning, so who knows? Oh my god. <laughs> Just crazy. And now, uh, are things a little more open in uh, Las Vegas? Not yet. Uh, we're gonna wait and see the beginning of the month. I think they're talking about the middle of the month here. Us kind okay. of getting rolling a little bit. But um, we'll see. All right. Making the best happens, of it. Right? Yeah, it yeah. is what it is. We, uh, I know myself, like a lot of people I work with, you know, we're very excited to get back to the show and kind of uh, get back to kind of do what we do best. But I'm sure just like everyone, I can't wait. My daughter wants to get back to the gym too. And right, she's exactly. Tired of, tired of working out with me at home, so. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's like us over here. We can't wait to come back on the gym, but now we're gonna go, uh, give our best effort to keep in shape. All right. All right. Thank you so much, Chris. Uh, I, I spoke with Chris guys about music, right? So Facebook and YouTube are giving us a little bit of a hard time because of music in general. Uh, even though we're doing this for free, um, I don't understand why we can let being limited on that. I mean, I understand, but I don't. But uh, Chris will do his best over there, but I think he's going to be kind of uh, low or without music, right, Chris? Yeah, I'll, I'll spare you. I won't sing to you uh, myself uh, because no one wants to hear that. So you have to play your own music at home, uh, and that's probably going to be better for everyone anyways. All right, man. Thank you so much, guys. So, okay, Chris, go ahead and go for your workout, man. Thank you. All right. Okay, everyone. Well... Welcome. We're going to do a bunch of stuff. We're going to work on our core today. I got my shirt on. We normally do weight vest Wednesdays here, so I brought mine. I'm going to use it for something later. Uh, we're going to do a lot of stuff, though. We're going to work on our core today. So I'll show you quick where we're going to start right here. We're going to do a little core circuit with some else holds. So um, if you can see behind me, I have a couple of boxes here that I'm going to use to do my L-sit holds with. If you have anything at home, you can do you can do them using kind of anything. Two chairs. Don't be one of those people on those YouTube videos though that uses the chairs and they buckle and fall down because we don't want any of that. Um, and then your other alternative is you can just sit on the floor. I'm sure you guys have done these in class already. 
but you can sit on the floor with your hands out to your sides and just lift your feet and hold like that. So we're gonna go through uh, these exercises really quick. I'll show you what we're gonna do. And then, uh, and then we'll get it going. We're gonna do four rounds. We're gonna get our core nice and tired. And then we're gonna do some weighted planks after that. And then we'll end off with a little workout for like 15 minutes where um, we're gonna see how many rounds we can get through. And I'm sure I'm gonna get messages from you guys where you're gonna tell me you did way more work than me and I'm gonna look like I'm dying. But hopefully I have a little advantage today. I've worked it out. So we're gonna start with three core exercises all laying on your back. So the first exercise, we're gonna start here. We're gonna do uh, with our knees at 90 degrees. So we're gonna lay down, knees at 90 degrees, and you're gonna do crunches just from here. So we're gonna do crunches from here. That simple. Then we're gonna do 10 there. Then we're gonna go to straight legs, 10 like this. And then we're gonna do 10 toe touches. If you're not super flexible like me, or you're tired, flex your feet, make it easier for yourself. And we're just gonna go up higher. So we're gonna go 10, 10, 10. And then we're gonna go together. I brought my fancy timer in here. It's gonna give us a countdown and we're gonna do 30 seconds. I'll still, I'll still kind of talk it out because it's a little far away for you guys to see. But we're gonna do 30 seconds and then we're gonna go back. We're gonna do four rounds. Uh, with L-sit holds, if you're not doing them on the floor and you are doing them somewhere, on boxes and things. Uh, for me, I have really tight hips. So you guys are gymnasts, so you won't have any problems. So I expect to see, you know, really nice, you know, legs straight, toes pointed, holding them out. If you're like me and your hips get really sore because they're too tight, especially if you're sitting at home watching too much television, you can bend your knees. As long as our knees aren't down here. As long as we're up here, whichever you'd like to do, okay? So, that's what we're gonna do. So, hope everyone has a mat, everyone's ready to go. I'm gonna start here and I'll kind of talk us through this. We're gonna go 10, 10, 10, I'll sit hold for four, four rounds, okay? I'm definitely not gonna sing. I wish you guys could sing and then I would listen to it. But, here we go. Let's try to keep going the whole time through these crunches as best as we can. And then we'll get a little break as we go into our house at all. Ready? And one, two. And switch straight legs. And toe touches. All right, okay, here we go. So do your best. If you gotta put your legs down, you do. Let's try to get all the way through these. This is the first one, so it should be the easiest of the three. Let's see if I was over ambitious with this. So we got 10 seconds, you're gonna hear beep, 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 and then we're gonna go. Two, one, go. And I'm already going to my knees. We're halfway there. boxes are sliding, I almost give you one of those people who falls down. Like I just told you not to be that person. All right. Take a second. Little breather. Everyone good? And here we go. 10, 10, 10. Three. Legs straight. And toe touches. All right. Woo. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna move these 
fix here, so hopefully they don't slide. Oh, is anyone else already not looking forward to this? Just kidding. Okay. Whew. Here we go in 10 seconds. Oh, wait, never mind. Now 10 seconds. All right. Two, one, go. laughing at me huffing and puffing and grunting because there's no music today. But let's keep going. First 10. Leg straight. Okay, I'm resting for a second. Keep going if you guys can. All right, 10 toe touches. All right. It's much different when there's no music. It's very quiet, very puffing and puffing. All right, are you guys ready for another L-sit hold? We've only got two left, so we're more than halfway as soon as we're done this. Here we go, as much as you can, okay? If you have three feet down, put them down, but try to stay up as long as you can, okay? Here we go, and three, two, one. <sighs> Keep going, guys. Come on. Strengths after this. Whew. Okay, let's do these at your own pace. Let's try to keep going, get through them. What we're trying to do is we're going to try and tire out our core so when we get to our next thing, it's even harder. When we get to our last thing, it's challenging. So here we go. First 10. Three. Straight. Oh. I can feel all the quarantine food I've been eating. Man. Whew. All right. Toe touches. All right. Okay. Whew. All right. Here 
There we go. Last round. This is going to be rough for me. Hope you guys are good. My hips are tight. All right, last one. times what I want you to try and do is find something you can add a little bit of weight to what you're doing because our core is already tired so we're gonna go for a minute on 30 seconds rest okay minute on 30 seconds rest for three rounds this is something we do a lot we do this in between shows um, just like if you've had a long day or like just some weight training and stuff during the day in between shows you need something to do for your core this is a good one so normally, traditionally, we'd use like plates and stuff. It's going to be a little harder because, you know, you're at home. But if you got your brother or sister there, you got your mom or your dad, anyone who can help you out. I've got my trusty weight vest. That's what I use for almost everything. Got my Canadian flag. Got my dual citizenship flag on it. So this only weighs 20 pounds. Normally we use quite a bit more. But so what we'll do is we'll set a timer up. So we're gonna go a minute on, 30 seconds rest. I'll come over here and probably blab to the camera about nothing because there's no music. And uh, then and then we'll do that for three rounds and then we'll get into our workout, okay? So let's get going. I know this one's gonna be rough. Try not to come down. If you need to put your knees down, it's cool. But uh, let's try and get through these. It's gonna be one minute, again, one minute of work, 30 seconds of blind flat on your face, resting for three, three goes. All right. So again, plank, we're not doing straight arm, we're doing on our elbows, right here, down, up right here, okay? Butt down, core tight, right there. Okay, we grab this timer. I have this set up right. Let's make sure. I think this is going to go right. Don't start yet. I'm going to restart it. Okay, perfect. Reset. Here we go. Okay, so as soon as you get uh, your weight on, we're going to lay down, get ready to go, and we'll go one minute on, 30 seconds rest for three rounds. Here we go. Get that weight, shuffle up off your back. Ah, I'm struggling. Come on guys, I'm sure you can do it. I apparently couldn't in time, but let's go. So you don't want to droop your body. You don't want to just hurt your back. If you do have a good weight or something, and it is hurting your back, you can always move it down, or move it up, sorry, excuse me, towards your shoulders, so the weight is more, not in the small of your back, it'll help out. All right, we're halfway there. See, this is easy. It's not like our core is already tired. All right, almost there for our first round. Then we can lay down and rest. 
All right, 30 seconds rest. Woo. I'm gonna move, trip mine up a little bit more. Woo. Well, at least I know that Gotham Gymnastics has kept me in shape throughout this quarantine because I've worked harder with you guys. Here we go again. Uh, of course, it falls on right as I do. I've done harder workouts with you guys than I ever do by myself. It's the pressure. The pressure of knowing you guys are watching. You're probably doing better than me. I saw that Daniel was asking if you guys were working on your press handstands. I have been working on mine as well. Starting to feel the burn. Okay, a little rest, and then one more round. You guys got it. Ooh. Hopefully I have this right so it doesn't fall off me. Let me go back. Yeah, not only have I been working on my press stand stands, I've been working on my handstand hold. So I started with three standing handstand holds. So 30 seconds every day, then 30 seconds three times a day. Oh, here we go. And now I'll keep checking. And now I'm up to uh, 45 seconds three times a day. Try to catch up with some of the hand balancers in my calves. They can hold a handstand for like five minutes straight, no problem. This is where it becomes just kind of mentally tough. All right, last 20 seconds. Come on, guys. All right. I don't know about you guys, but that was getting super rough for me. I, mean, I was a little shaky. Okay, let's put our weight away that we're using. All the weights away. All right. We'll get our timer ready for our workout. Okay, so next workout. Whew, I'm so sweaty. Okay. So, last workout. I'm gonna show you guys and then we're gonna get to it. 15 minutes. We're gonna go for 15 minutes. This is gonna be one of the ones if you guys were with us for the first workout we did. I gave you guys a workout that was like 10 minutes and I did like seven rounds of it or something and I had you guys messaging me being like, I did 10 rounds, I did 12. I was felt so bad about myself. So I'm gonna give myself a little bit of time, a little more time this time. But if you have something like a whiteboard, what I always do is I draw a line. And then as you go through, you just tick through the line and count your rounds that way. If you have a different way to count stuffed animals, count pennies, well, however you guys wanna do it. But here's the, here's the workout, here's the scheme for what we're gonna do. We're gonna do five handstand pushups against the wall. So I'll demonstrate them. We're gonna try and do them strict. We're gonna to wanna to put something under our head. So if you have like a pillow, have anything like that, we're gonna do handstand push-ups. So uh, do something so you, you're not cracking your head on your floor at home. Use a nice clean wall. Don't be kicking your parents' pictures off the walls and things like that. 
Um, and then if you can't do handstand push-ups or you think it's going to be too much over the time, I'm going to give you a variation to go to as well in one second. I'll show you. Then we're going to go to everyone's favorite, burpees. Burpees for 10. Then we're going to do air squats. And then we're going to do alternating V-ups. So it's going to be one hand to your opposite foot and back and so forth. So we're going to work our obliques a little bit more. Now that our core is tired in the center, we're going to work our obliques a little bit more. So again, depending on our flexibility, some people will be touching their toes, some will touch their shin. The goal is kind of just to keep going, okay? We're going to try and keep going at a good pace. I want you to go out and do like three rounds as fast as you can, and then not be able to do a handstand push-up. So that's what we're going to do. Let me do a couple quick demonstrations of how we can vary this up. So I'm going to turn this camera a little bit so you can get to see my wall here. So handstand push-up, really simple. You guys all know how to do these. We're going up, handstand, going down to our head, pushing back up. Easy, right? Okay, so handstand push-up. If you can't do a handstand push-up or you get tired in the middle of this and you want to just change it up, what you're going to do is you're going to go to kind of a bear position here, butt up in the air, and you're going to go down, touch your head, and come back up. It's going to be kind of similar, same thing for your shoulders. It's going to give you a good workout, okay? Then burpees, you guys know how to do burpees. Air squats, down, up, okay? Just make sure that your butt gets below your knees, okay? You can use your arms to swing however you want to do it to keep going, okay? And then alternating V-ups. So I'll show you those quick. I'm going to try and get this so we can see most of what I'm doing. Alternating V-ups. So these will be from here, we're going to lift up and touch one leg, down, and alternate, okay? You want to try to make sure that when we touch the leg, we actually don't just reach up and touch your knee like this. Try to get up and make the turn so we're engaging our obliques. On the other side, it may get a little sloppy as we move on faster and faster and faster through this to try to get through the rounds but try to make sure that you, you're doing them properly so you get the most out of it, okay? It's like you always learn when you're a young gymnast. It's like the coach isn't looking. We're doing conditioning. Let's just kind of do it and get it done. But when you get to where I am, even you've been working, you have to do it day in and day out. You realize something we learned from our trainers that every rep counts and every rep is up to you. So if you don't want to do it right, you're not going to get the benefit out of it. So when other people are getting stronger can do other things, and you have problems, you only have yourself to kind of look at it for it. So, anyways, not to get too, uh, too deep with you guys, let's get into this workout. I'm going to see if, I can, uh, see if I can get ahead of all of you guys. And feel free at the end of this to hit me up and send comments and stuff and tell me how many rounds you guys did. Because uh, I think it's awesome when you guys kick my butt at it. So, I should be better. Like I said, I had handstand push-ups into this one on purpose because I'm pretty good at them. So, uh... Yeah, I'm going to hit this timer. It's going to count down from 15 minutes. You can see it in the back. So we're going to go 10 second lead in, and then we're going to get this workout done. I'm going to move this camera back so you can see a little better, I think. And uh, yeah, we're going to go for 15 minutes. Sing in your head, sing to yourself. Uh, I don't know what I'd be singing. Maybe Katy Perry? Not really. I don't know. Not really my thing. But uh, yeah. Get some music going in your uh, living room. I'll give you 30 seconds or so to get set up and get ready. And I'm going to hit this clock. You get a 10 second timer and then it's game on. You ready? Let's get everyone set up. And I hope everyone's doing good out there in New York. I know it's kind of rough. I know, especially in the city, you know, you guys are under the worst of the quarantines and stuff. And did have a rough go. So I'm glad you guys are all still doing this. You know, we have a little more space out here in the desert, even though it's nuclear hot. But um, yeah, man, I think it's awesome what you guys are doing. And especially for athletes like us, who I've been a gymnast since I was three years old. I was an artistic gymnast, national power tumbler, the whole nine for anyone who didn't hear my spiel before. But, uh, you know, I, I love this stuff. This, this is my whole life. 
you know, I want my kids to do it. Um, and so I think it's amazing that you guys are logging on and, and getting to be a part of this. So I, you, you guys are the ones who are going to take over doing this stuff for me someday. I always tell the, the younger performers that I work with how they're the future. That's what you guys are. So that being said, I'm going to try to kick all your butts right now. Ready? Here we go. You got 10 seconds. Let's do this. is to do as many as you can throughout the time. Not necessarily as fast as you can. up as however you want. Too. With your handstand push-ups, you don't have to do them all together. You can break them up and whatever keeps you going. If you can't make it, it doesn't count. Don't count it unless you push all the way up.
great equalizer on purpose. I had air conditioning. At least two more rounds. I don't know about you guys, but my core is going to be mad me tomorrow. Coming up on six and a half minutes, guys. Just keep moving, okay? Doesn't matter where you are, just keep moving. Unless you're really far ahead of me, then slow down.
Come on, we got at least a round and change left in us. There's got to be some sort of song I should be singing. It's like, save me, I'm about to fall over. But I don't know the song. Ooh. Look. That's strong. <laughs> Almost done. Two minutes That's good. Came to the rescue, guys. <laughs> Let's go. Two minutes. That's what it takes to be on the rev show. Let's go. <sighs> and I'm here just seeing and watching. Can be. Gotta work out too. <laughs> yeah, it seems unfair. <laughs> well, come on, guys. Men 20. As many reps as you can. Everyone counts. <sighs> Oh. I gotta get further than someone last minute. Come on, guys, you can do this. Nutrition discussion now, and not a workout after this, because that was a strong workout. <laughs> it's not sweating; it's my body crying. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> well, One. that was an awesome workout, man. I gotta see how many I got, so everyone can tell me how bad they beat me. Okay. Six. 
So I got through six rounds, five handstand push-ups, 10 burpees, 15 air squats, and three V-ups. Wow. So six rounds nice. plus six rounds plus 33 reps. If anyone wants to tell me how bad they beat me. <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. How many do you guys make? Put it down in the description there, guys, on the comments there. How many did you go through? And uh, Chris, I have to thank you. Uh, you know, the meanwhile, they put their comments over there. Thank you so much for doing this. Thank you so much for the energy. Good luck over there. And then we will certainly be in touch, okay? Yeah, thank you guys so much. Have fun. Be safe out there. Take thank these you, man. Hands. Thank I'm going to go fall asleep for a while. There we go. Thank Bye, you so guys. much, man. That's awesome energy. Thank you. Hey, you guys, don't go anywhere now because Betsy's coming soon at 3.50. She's going to take over the account and she's going to be doing an amazing nutrition presentation for you guys, okay? So stay tuned, get some water, and breathe. Okay, peace out, guys. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Thank you so much. Bye-bye.